Hello, the Jewry family. I hope everyone is doing well. In today's recipe, I am going to show you how to make digestive biscuits. These are very healthy biscuits that you can make yourself, so no need to go to the shop and buy it. If you are interested, please keep on watching this video and I'll see you later on. To make digestive biscuits, you need 75 grams of powdered sugar, 300 grams of whole wheat flour, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, 5 tablespoons of milk, and 130 grams of cold butter. That's it. So let's get started. So let's start with the flour. Add 300 grams of whole wheat flour in a bowl. We use this type of flour because that's what you use to make digestive biscuits. If you use another type, well, it will be just butter biscuits or butter cookies. And then add the sugar. We use powdered sugar for digestive biscuits. You could use another type of sugar, but that will be your very last option. And then you can add in one teaspoon of baking powder. Please do not get confused with baking soda. This is baking powder. Next, stir it. Make sure it is well mixed. We are now going to add our butter. Make sure it is cold butter, which is 130 grams. You could use margarine if you don't have butter, but also this is your second option. All right, now with your clean hand, mix the butter with the flour until everything is combined. Do not rush, take your time. Next, add in the five tablespoons of milk, and I am using semi skim milk, but you can use whole milk if you prefer. And then mix it all together until you get this perfect dough. All right, you need parchment paper, as you can see. We are going to divide our dough in two, otherwise it will be too big to roll down with our rolling pin. So now put another piece of parchment paper on top of the dough and roll it down. Make sure you do not flatten it too much or else your biscuits will be very very flat so if you could get to uh, a bit less than one centimeter it will be great by the way this is how it should look like so it is not too flat anyway with the baking powder is gonna puff up and then I'm gonna cut cookie shapes with my cookie cutter if you don't have this please use anything that could cut into this shape right once you have done that remove the excess butter from it and then make some more biscuits with it do not waste anything you know life is so expensive all right so this is it next i am going to use my digestive biscuit stamp well i got this from amazon all right it is not expensive at all it's amazon uk but if you are in the us i strongly believe you can also get it now you can stamp all your biscuits so i'm starting with the digestive stamp and then i'll remove it and add biscuits to it if you want to do uh, something like a surprise for someone you can even add their names to it It is very fun and kids really love to do it and as you know digestive biscuits do have holes on them If you can't find any holes, then these are not Digestive biscuits. It's very easy. Just use a skewer or a toothpick Anything that could help you poke some holes on your biscuits all right i'm all done now and i'm going to bake this in my oven for about 15 minutes to begin with all right look at my wonderful digestive biscuits homemade digestive biscuits i'm gonna let it cool down and then show you here this is it guys this is homemade healthy digestive biscuits and it tastes so good i promise you
<laughs> and here I'm going to show you a close-up and show you how it looks like on the inside it is just amazing and you know I didn't think my kids would love it so much because when I buy you know the usual digestive biscuits from the shop they don't really eat it but when I made it myself they really enjoyed it there was nothing left so please if you did enjoy watching this video I urge you to try the recipe and if you do leave me a comment if you enjoyed the video also leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up share my videos do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my recipes if you do have any more questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll reply as soon as i can thank you all and i wish you a very nice evening or day or morning bye and take care